Thank you so much for tuning into our show. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. We're Take to get it up tunes. tunes, and you're now listening to the Tune, Tune Talk, Talk Podcast. Podcast. Yes, today <laughs> we are reviewing Camila Cabea's newest album. It is CXOXO. C-X-O-X-O. <laughs> Let's get into it. Here we go. The Magic City Edition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. the Deluxe Edition. Yeah, <laughs> just, sweet. just came out. I'm excited to oh, check out nice. all the songs, and there's new songs on there. They're all new to us. Sweet, Let's yeah. go. Yeah, we haven't heard a new Camila song in a while. I know, and this came out back in June, the original album. Okay. But today, there's four added songs on for the Magic City Deluxe Edition. And we so haven't gonna, heard any We, we haven't heard any of them, so we're going to check them all out. I'm super excited for it. Me I'm too. Ty. I'm Katie. We're taking it up. Tunes, tunes. Yes. and we are just ready and pumped to get into this. We are. Let's celebrate music. I think the last album we checked out from Camila Cabello was Familia. Yes. Which was what, 2022? Oh my 20, gosh, yeah. Right? And then around that time, she was also in the new Cinderella movie. Oh, that's right. Remember yeah. that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, and then... And then we we haven't heard yeah, we didn't, anything else. We didn't, haven't I know really checked that, out much from her. Um, obviously, her and Shawn Mendes have broken up yep. since then. Um, so I don't know if this is a breakup yep. album. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. There's 14 songs, 32 minutes. Plus the four new ones that came out today. Okay. So plus, 18 songs. Okay. Four, yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Number let's go one. This I love it. I love it. With Playboy Cardi. Okay. Oh, we're doing the track list. Track list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like waiting to hear it. Okay. Uh, number two, we have Chanel number five. Three, we have Pink XOXO. Four, we have He Knows featuring Lil Nas X. Ooh, okay. okay. Five, we have uh, 20 somethings. All right. Six, we have Dade Country Dreaming with JT and Young Miami. Okay. That All right. Cool. Um, seven, we have Koshi XOXO with BLP Kosher. All right. Eight, we have Hot Up Town with Drake. What? Mm, okay. A Drake feature? Another song with Drake. It looks like it's just Drake in this song. There's no Camila Cabello. Oh, yeah, there is. Right, this one. This oh, next that one? one? Ugly. Ugly. Just Drake. Just Drake. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 10, we have Dream Girls. 11 is 35, 305 Till I Die. <laughs> um, 12 is Boat, B O A T. Uh, 13 is Pretty When I Cry. And right. 14 is June Gloom. And the four new ones that just came out we have Baby Pink. Okay. Come Show Me. Can Friends Kiss and Godspeed. Okay. So those are the four new songs that came out today on the Magic City Edition, but we're checking out all 18 today for the first time. Let's go. Let's get into song number one. All right. I love it. Featuring Playboy Cardi. Okay. I love to- it. Yeah. Totally. Total different, different sound. sound that we've heard from Camila. Definitely. I almost wish the feature in this song uh, came in a little bit sooner. It kind of felt yeah. like it was just kind of like a little too late. Mm-hmm. Like it was like. Almost, he had some ad libs in the beginning, but yeah, it was almost like it yeah, was not, after a bridge. It was almost like an afterthought. It mm-hmm. felt like it, I wish the feature was a little bit earlier on in the song, but the song, the chorus. I mean, it sounds like a it sounds like a hit song. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love, love it. it. I love it. I wish the beat wasn't as busy. It felt like it wasn't like a nice, like deep bass, you yeah. know, dirty beat, which would have been cool. Yeah, it was more like a. You know, spontaneous, sporadic. Yeah, with the li- like, I could picture the lights. Yeah, I feel like I love it. I love it. I love it. I feel like it was just a few parts where it was just kind of like, whoa. Right. We'll have to see how the rest of the album is. Definitely a awesome start, though. Like, okay. totally, totally gets you into the album. Like, yeah. Okay, we're it gonna hear pumped. something totally different. I love it. 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 I love, so, it, I love it. Song number two, we have. Chanel number five. Okay. Risk, risk, spritz, spritz, make him come alive. Yeah, that part was so catchy. Cute girl with a sick right. mind. It was that. Yeah. Me- it was the way. That, it was that way, the way that melody was. Sad. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. I feel like the verses. Um, I feel like they, like, uh, comparing it to the first song we listened to, where the beat was just like so overwhelming. Yeah. I feel like in the verses it was like very different. It was very clear. Yeah. Very. Like simple in the beat, and uh-huh. you could like hear the vocals better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like this one a lot. Yeah, me too. Um, this album, I feel like she's experimenting with more like use of you know auto tune and these different kind of beats and styles, and she's not necessarily using almost, like her best vocals, yeah. you know, because we know she can sing. Yeah, right. This is more just like a chill. Yeah, it's almost got like an like an R and B kind of feel. Yeah, to it in that in that song in that uh-huh. sense. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know. I wasn't. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> it's different for her. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So All right. Next up, we have. Next up, we have. Pink XOXO. Okay. Oh, it's a short. Yeah, I was gonna 55 say seconds. before we get into this song, I noticed when we were going over the track list, 
some of these songs are pretty short, so I don't know if we're going to get like interludes throughout this album. But oh, yeah, yeah. They're like, this is 55 seconds. Number seven is 46 seconds. Okay. Number 11, 305 Till I Die is 49 seconds. So I don't know if this is just like an interlude or just something. Just throughout the album, yeah. So let's check it out. If it is, we might just let it play and just lead into the next song. Yeah, yeah. I think he knows. I like that. I think he knows. Yeah, it was that was a a catchy chorus. Yeah. Definitely, I like the feature on it. I think it was a great feature. Mm-hmm. Lil Nas, yeah, unexpected. A, I never thought. Yeah, Neil Cabello and Lil Nas X would have a collab together, but yeah, it sounded good. Yeah, I like I like when you have a feature that when they come in, like it, you can tell, like it's distinct. Yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, okay. It's so it's you know you know what I'm saying. Yeah, not like when we were disappointed with the Taylor Swift Lana Del Rey feature. It was yeah. like, where is Lana? Yeah. That, you know, this was kind of like snow on the beach you're like nice what this is like distinct up. boom yeah, yeah and i like going back to the little snippet song we heard i like when artists kind of lead in to the song so the album feels like a collective piece of work mm-hmm. like the what was it called that little 49 second snippet we got pink xoxo yeah yeah it, if we go back and listen to this like, you can kind of hear that song in here now uh-huh you know t- especially like here right here yep you can kind of like hear it starting to come in, almost like it would at a concert. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's cool too. I like that. It's a, it's a cool. I think you know. It's a creative way of, of, bringing in a song. Yeah. All right, let's move on to twenty right. somethings. Twenty somethings. Here we go. Yeah, the pattern was nice. Yeah, it almost it was cool that it was um mainly just piano and acoustic guitar, especially with how the vocal pattern was and how the vocals were. It didn't feel like that should be on an acoustic guitar. It felt like yeah. it should have been kind of how some of the earlier songs were with like those R and B like beats. So mm-hmm. it was cool that she mixed the same kind of vocal style in a different kind of instrumental. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, and it was and it was really interesting too. It almost sounds like. She's really playing with her sound a lot because, like, it's like in this section, I'll play it for you. It totally sounds, you know, familiar to how we hear Camille. Know her voice, yeah. But, like, before that, it's like so different right here. Right here. And then you'll hear it switch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Totally. It's like she's really playing with the, the different vocal styles in this song between the chorus and the verses yeah and it's like she really wants to get her point across she's not singing it she's like just saying it yeah like, yeah i like that one yeah. this is uh one of my favorite ones so far me too yeah definitely i think so okay now next up we on. have dade county dreaming all right here we go featuring jt and a young miami okay yeah like all these songs so far i'm noticing like it feels like the big beat should drop there and it doesn't yeah and it's cool it's like so so much different right so it's like you really listen to the lyrics more uh-huh. than you would if the beat like drop you right you know like, yeah, yeah yeah like right like right here it just feels like it should drop you know yeah right there but it doesn't oh i i would like a beat drop though yeah yeah it's cool that there's not like huge beat drops in it yeah i know it's so it's so different yeah i was like thrown off when the piano came in yeah i know it's, it's like, like wow. i was not expecting that to it, be in this song yeah it's like two different styles of music meshed into one yeah it's really really creative it's uh, cool yeah i like this one i think uh the the feature in the beginning i believe was jt and i think jt's like getting really big right now oh really yeah because i i'll hear that name on uh serious xm a lot oh uh-huh yeah 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 that's like a big that was a big song on tiktok and it was like i don't know the part where i noticed it what it was yeah. that the middle of the it middle or something? Of it, yeah. yeah there's like a whole dance and everything okay yeah um fun okay next up we have koshi xoxo okay and this is another short one so i'm guessing it's gonna just kind of lead into the next one okay dang that was flawless i'm sorry i just cut the flow there but this background vocal was just so cool to me it like had a delay effect on it and it Uh just kept delaying further and further into the background of the song and it like became part of the beat it was crazy oh i want to hear it again yeah so listen to the background vocal on this okay love the tempo love the sound of this one yeah it had a good rhythm to it yeah this this one felt like a hit yeah, that was a fun collab. Yeah, it was that was really good. Yeah. I'd say uh this is probably another one of the top, top ones. Top for me. three. Yeah. So far that we've heard. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I think so too. And now this one is just Drake. 
interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. It was almost like a like a like continuation a, of the song before. Yeah, because it's had the same line, yeah. two hands on your waist, one on my face. But um it was like a call out. Yeah, it was it was weird. To end up in my yeah, for someone like, so lost in life, you always manage to end up in my place trying me. Yeah, it was Don't, it'll get ugly. I almost wish which well, we'll see what the next song is, but I almost wish there was like another continuation of like Camila now. Like it was just kind of just Drake, you know? Yeah. Like it almost feels like Camila needs to have a part now. Right. In this same kind of slowed down song. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's move on to the next one and right. see maybe that happens. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that from a Drake song? Yeah. Is All it? those names? Key, uh, well, of course, Key, yeah, Key. Yeah, is but it? then isn't there like Nisi and Keisha, and Tanya, yeah, yeah, Sonia. Yeah. So is it like a continuation? This is interesting. I don't know. We need to know. That's from what song is that? Um, Kiki, do you love me? That's um, oh, gosh, what and is that I never it's been so long. Sad me. What is <laughs> right. that called? Oh, um, uh, in yeah. my feelings. Yeah, yeah, in my feelings. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now I want to look in my feelings. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is really interesting. Oh, oh, whoops! <laughs> and you started playing it. I'm here. <laughs> oh, whoops! Just scroll down and we can read it. Okay, perfect. Um, it's the all the names. Wait. KB. KB. Love me. No, right? keep going. Like all the way down. Um, no, Jenny, Risha, JT. I don't even see it. Now. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought there were more names like that. All right here. Yeah, there's Kiki. I think they're. I think those names are from a different drink song, though. Ah, oh. like they all went together too well. Yeah, almost like they. It sounded like. What song is that from? You know what I mean? Yeah. It definitely was like another Drake song. Let's see here. Now I'm looking it up. I don't know. Now I don't know. Maybe not. It might have nothing to do with Maybe it. Maybe not. But it definitely seems like it is. Yeah. No, I'm looking it up. Anything? Can't find anything. I can't find anything. I know. It was just kind of like. That's kind of where my head went, though, because Drake was just singing in the last little interlude. Yeah. And then it was Keisha. It was Sonia. It yeah. was Tanya. It was Monique. <laughs> it was Nisi. Nisi. It was Kiki. It was Kiki. <laughs> yeah, it was the Kiki that set it off. <laughs> yeah, and now you see her at 26, and now you also. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's, yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, it does. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep. Yeah, that is really interesting. I wonder if those three songs connect at all in any way. Yeah. And if they do, let us know, because that was like just a kind of interesting three last songs we heard. Right. They all kind of just flowed one into the other yeah. so i don't know if that was purpose you know mm. if that was on purpose or not <laughs> it was really interesting i don't know okay i know i don't know where this album is taking it's kind of just like flowing one after the other because yeah. now it looks like we have another interlude here 305 till i die all right Ooh. yeah that was wow cool. that was interesting and at the very last sample forget about your boyfriend meet me at the hotel room that's like what she's trying to say but in a sad way yeah. you know like that was a really cool I forget why i try cool sample on a slow song it, you know i wish how this song was made it was like slower and not a lot of instruments so we focused on the vocals i wish the vocals were more raw yeah and so like produced and auto-tuned mm -hmm. but uh, there was one part in here where i was like I wish the song would have went somewhere else, like right here. I wish the beat, I wish a beat would have came in, just like a just a steady kick drum. I feel like would have just drove the song more with those kind of vocals. If otherwise, I wish it was just like more raw vocals. Yeah, like right here. When a guy right here, like after the first chorus, I was just hoping for like, boom, boom, boom. boom oh boom, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You know, boom. Boom. right and then just like the beat comes fully in right here yeah dun, 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 you know kind of like a um you know robin dancing on my own where it's like such sad lyrics yeah. but then like a great beat yeah like i was i was like mm. waiting for it right there just like a steady kick drum yeah i like that because the reason why i thought that was coming is how the vocals were produced and with, the sample i mean the sample yeah, is a pop-up song yeah, with you the know sample so i'm just like Oh, yeah. man, I, I wish that would have yeah. been right there. Interesting choice. 
But yeah, very creative, definitely. Yeah. Sad, sad lyrics. Yeah. Okay, next up, Pretty When I Cry. Yeah, I really I really like the structure yeah. of this song. It's kind of what I was hoping for in the last song. It was this one started out slow and then the beat kind of just slowly came in. Yep. That's what I, was, I like that one. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah. This one is probably going to be a top pick uh-huh. once we go through all these songs and give some of our favorites. Yep. This one's probably probably going to be up there for me. I think so too. So we have one more on the original album that came out at the end of June okay. and then we're going to be on to the four new songs that just came out. So okay. let's finish off the original album with June Gloom. June Gloom. Oh. Ooh. That was cool. That was almost like a guitar solo in a way. Yeah. Because it kept the melody of the song. Did you, could you hear the melody in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I like that. But it was like such a different sound. It was so dramatic, you know, and right? theatrical. Like, whoa. It, I like that it didn't come in with just the vocals right there. Like, it typically would. Right. In a structured song would just be that chorus singing again. So it was cool that it just kind of like... And I went into this, you know, you still got the melody just on a, on an instrument. That yeah. was really, really cool. Yeah, this, that was good. I think this is the best written song on the album. Yeah. In it my, was definitely the storytelling. I mean, it's calling, yes. it's calling you out, you know? Yeah. This Ooh. was a very well-written song. Yeah. So should we get into the four extras that we have that came out tonight? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Let's... Well, just talking about this album alone felt short. It did feel short. I mean, there were, what, three interludes, something like that? Yeah, I think the interludes made it feel kind of short, and some of the songs were kind of short, too. Like, mm-hmm. um, like this, well, I feel like this Drake song was kind of interesting. Yeah. It, like, wasn't a full song. Uh-huh. It almost felt like, you know, song eight, nine, and ten were one. One continuation. One thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which I think could have been a reason why the album felt short, because three of the four, 14 songs were kind of one song. Yeah. And then the other three interludes. But yeah, so far, there's I'm, I'm liking the whole different styles that yeah. we're hearing here. And I'm liking that different, it's not... Different. Very different project for her. Yeah, I'm liking that it's not predictable either. Yeah. It's like, we don't really know what we're going to get. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's get on to the new songs that just came out. Okay, let's do it. And this is the Magic City Deluxe Edition. All right. Mm, baby Pink. Okay, I did not know there was going to be a feature on that. No. It didn't tell us that. No, and it ended like... And what's crazy is when we were listening to that, I thought of a feature. Oh, yeah. And so it was weird that we got a feature. Oh, what? And I'm like, kind of, I don't know who that was. I'm not really sure. Uh-huh. Could you yeah, recognize who that say. was? No. Um, and I'm kind of bummed and let down with the feature because I think this, like, a, a great feature on this song uh-huh. would have been. Oh, a, I think it says right there. M. Wait, go up. Okay. M. Triplin. M. Triplin. Oh, is that the producer? I think that's the producer. Oh, because yeah, scroll up. Yeah, I was looking in the credits. Right there. Oh, maybe, yeah. M. Triplin, probably, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it didn't tell us there was a feature, but it's in the credits here. But I was thinking the whole time, like, man, right before they came in, uh-huh. the just an awesome feature would have been MGK. Ooh, I yeah. I totally heard them, like, coming in there. They've never done a song before, have they, together? They, they have. What? Uh, oh, 2017 yeah. ba- are you bad out things. Of my head? Are you yeah, out of my mind? and that's what I was thinking. Even in the beginning, I'm like, oh, yeah. Even in the beginning, how the song started out, I'm like, I could see MGK doing like a cool rock cover to this. Mm. Like, listen to the beginning again, real quick. I don't, 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 yeah. Yeah, I could see like, that. From the second it started playing, I'm like, I could see him covering this. And then as it got further on, I'm like, like I saw there was a minute and a half left right here. I'm like, man, MGK would be sweet right here. And then we got a feature. Yeah. I was like, oh, why was it not MGK? Uh-huh. Totally. <laughs> I agree. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, it was an interesting, like. Yeah. I think I liked the first, like, minute of it. Yeah. And then it kind of felt like just predictable. It felt a little a like, little long. A little too long, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, the first minute of it was cool. Yeah. Now we're moving on to Come Show Me. Okay. And let's look in the credits before we start this one. <laughs> see if there's any features. There's not. I don't see any. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's so different. Like if someone played this like just 
hanging out with people and are like, who who do you think this is? I would never guess Camila Cabello. Yeah, I know, right? I would never just be like, oh, I know Camila Cabello's new song. I know, it's so different. It's like, I don't know who this is. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's such a different sound. Right. I really like in this album that kind of quick flow she's experiencing with or experimenting with. Yeah. Like we kind of heard it in that Baby Pink song in the deluxe version. I almost wish it was in this song. Mm. Like I feel like it just kind of just was kind of steady the yeah. whole time. The same kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like there was like a good moment in there to break that and like kind of throw in that kind of quick flow she's been playing with throughout this album. I think that would have been a nice, a nice switch up somewhere throughout the song. Yeah. Kind of felt like it was just kind of. Yeah, it was you know, kinda just, just, it wasn't going anywhere. I know. It was just kind of there. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I felt like I, my eyes were kind of glazing over. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. Let's move on yeah. to the last uh, new one. And they're all new for us, like yeah. you said. But the last new one that dropped today. Okay, Godspeed. Godspeed. Here we go. Let's yeah, see. this is another one um, that is, I think, pretty comparable to another one earlier in the album where I said I wish it was just more raw vocals yeah. like i feel like the biggest parts of the song were just like almost quiet too mm-hmm. like it could have been like just more i don't know bigger if it was just more raw i feel yeah like. yep definitely i think so too okay All wow right. well wow. that's c x x o x o magic city edition yeah okay all right so let's go over some of our favorite songs i don't i i don't know if i was feeling and really any of the ones on the deluxe no, I wasn't either. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, <clears throat> none of those know. really stood out to me. Yeah. The ones that stood out to me um, earlier, though, were definitely the first song that I love it. I love it. I love it. I love oh, it. yeah. I really love it. Like, I, th- I like that. I thought that was catchy. I like. Um, um, let's see. Let's go to it. Oh, uh, let's see. I think 20 somethings. OK, yeah. You want to play it quick? Yeah, I want to play it quick. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> I wish it was a heavier beat there. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. Like some songs we, we wished it was heavier and some songs we didn't. You know, yeah. Um, I would say though that I love it song. I liked a lot the B O A T. I think I like that the one. The one with Lil Nas was good. Um, the the one with Drake, the first one we heard, I thought was was good. Yeah. Um, like very up tempo. And then I think my favorite song on the whole album was that June Gloom. Yeah, I thought I it was that like too. the best best written song, and yeah, I, I really liked that one a lot. Uh huh. Um, and I think there was another one here. I think it was Pretty When I Cry. I liked a I lot, too. I liked that one, too, yeah. Yeah, th- this one was good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one, too. Yeah, Pretty When yeah, I Cry. Yeah, I think we're, we're on the same wavelength. Those are, like, kind of our top five. Yeah. Pretty When I Cry, June Gloom, uh, Hot Up Town, I liked. And then um, I Love It, and the one with Lil Nas, he knows, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Nice. Interesting to see on Spotify, like, which ones get the most plays? Like, it looks like I Love It is the... I wonder if that was the single. I'm guessing that was the lead single, yeah. Yep. And then He Knows, Lil Nas X, has 27 million plays. Yep. The Chanel number five's got I'm a surprised good that plays. just the Drake like interlude has 16 million. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Wow. Yeah, that was really like a really interesting part in the album. Those three songs, Hot yeah. Town, Ugly, and Dream Girls. Uh-huh. I want to know more about that, but I think my top my top of the whole album was the June Gloom. Yeah, I thought it was a really yeah I thought that was good too the best written song. Okay, yeah, right. not my favorite album of hers. Yeah, it was just I think it was just so different, and we just weren't. It expecting, felt like an experimental album. Yeah, like I just think we weren't expecting that from a Camila Cabello album. Like yeah. I said when we were listening to those deluxe edition songs it's like man if you played some of these songs you would not guess this is her right at all yeah and she has such like a unique you know distinguishable voice yeah that it was i almost wish the deluxe part of the album would have been like some slower acoustic or like just stripped back something else yeah 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 that's what i'd say Mm. all right all right camila cabello let us know let us know what you think think. Yes. yes In the comments below, what were some of your favorite songs? Are you loving this album? Are you not? 
Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. And we will see you next week for another album. We sure will. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.